Well, in the wake of the virus, investors who bought pandemic bonds from the World Bank in 2017 are set to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. Here's one America's Pearson Sharp. Following the outbreak of the coronavirus, investors who bought bonds from the World Bank back in 2017 are set to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. After the last outbreak of Ebola three years ago, the World Bank issued what's called pandemic bonds in an effort to raise money in case of another global viral catastrophe. The funding from these bonds would then be used to help support nations suffering from the infections, whether it be Ebola or some other disease. During a crisis, it's often difficult for relief agencies to get the money they need, and so the idea was to have the money already on hand when an emergency strikes. Investors eagerly bought up the bonds, worth about $500 million, ordering more than two times the amount which were being offered. The bonds had a high yield rate of nearly 12% and were set to mature in July of this year. But as always, there was a catch. If another major global outbreak occurred, investors would lose all their money. The deal clearly outlines the requirements for triggering such an event, specifically mentioning that if there's an outbreak of coronavirus, payment of bonds would be suspended. The agreement states that if more than 2,500 people die across at least eight different countries, investors will get nothing. Two weeks ago, the bonds were worth 60% of what investors paid. Today, they're worth just 10%. Under the deal, the maximum potential payout is no more than $195 million. But critics point out that the World Bank still hasn't delivered any of that money for aid. However, the bank technically has until 84 days after the start of the outbreak to release the funds, which would be mid-April. It's not clear whether or not investors will get their money back, but the World Health Organization's declaration of a global pandemic likely saved the World Bank hundreds of millions of dollars. Pearson Sharp.